Man, this is something I did in the off season, last off season when we had joint practices. It's called X Reacts, man. We're going to react to some of the footage coming out of the Senior Bowl. I'm going to tell you, man, listen, shout out to all the content creators that have been down there, been covering the Senior Bowl, man, giving us this content that we can react to, man. So, you know, what we're going to do on Vocal Vike, man, we're going to react to these guys and see who's going to be the next Minnesota Viking. All right, because I can guarantee you some of these guys are going to be on the Vikings radar, and that's a fact. And I've been seeing some good good stuff man but before i hold you up man let's get right into it man y'all react with me drop down in the comments what was your favorite clip man let's get to it we got day one right now man all right so the first thing we got man we got georgia wide receiver lad mcconkey draws ooze from the crowd with the separation he creates on his route on one-on-ones man shout out mike meyer man mike meyer i'm gonna shout y'all out for the ones who you know at least gave us the content to be able to react to so hey man your boy your georgia wide receiver man doing his thing doing his thing next we got ucla a defensive end latu or latu however you say it blowing off the edge now i was hearing things about him not being as productive as the day went on i don't know if this was earlier in the day earlier in practice and heard today that it wasn't the best but you know what man he's been having a little buzz going into this so you never know man hey i, I don't think we really need to go edge believe it or not i know some people might say the vikings need to do an edge rusher to me i think we need a nose tackle way more way more and we're gonna get into that man we got some videos man you know what i'm saying this one right here was not expecting this from a guy like him what a sneaky athlete look at him man just hey going in you heard me like oh got him off the line man got him dancing got him dancing let's go got him dancing oh hey man i'm telling you boy some of them wide receivers out there doing a thing you heard all right they doing a thing then we got shout out joe de leon penn state tight end theo johnson is so smooth he is so smooth man let's look at this man let's see what we got here man we got michael Penix jr drops back Ugh. throws it right to him over the top good throw you know tight end made an adjustment let's go man shout out shout out joe de, Le de, de leon you know what i'm saying shout out to you man for giving us this content that we can react to man all right then we got we got brendan man jerry rice's son oh got him got him Ugh. good grab though you saw that you saw the hands man listen man shout out to him man you know what i mean listen he's been i actually seen a couple highlights of him this is one that i just you know came across and said hey let's use this one but i'm gonna tell you right now this dude he's had a couple good highlights you know what i'm saying but um yeah man all right we got malachi corley was shaking dbs all day at like this at the senior bowl hey shaking them the wide receivers seem like they got the best of the dbs day one um but we're gonna see what day two bring man you know what i'm saying we're gonna see what day two bring man you know what i mean shout out shout out this man right tackle christian jones earned some money today at senior bowl hey you know what i mean hey look now this right here wouldn't be a bad idea for the minnesota vikings now i know we have our boy but i'm gonna tell you man you can never go wrong with a tackle that can book that in you hear me like for sure so shout out to him man we got running back dejon edwards with the spin Ooh, ooh wee that boy put a nice little spin move on there man shout out to him man listen we all know that the vikings need a damn running back i don't give a damn we need a running back one that is for sure that is something that has to happen so never know might be on the radar man here's a one-on-one -on -one. we got hey we hey roman <laughs> listen now, this Roman Wilson, man, listen, Roman Wilson is putting in nasty work out there. Day one, day two, Roman Wilson is cooking. You hear me? They are going to drug test this guy after the senior ball. I'm, I promise you they're going to drug test him, all right, because he's just putting in nasty work. Like, he's doing them dirty, bro. He really is, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Matt Cadlick. We got not a great, not a great throw here from QB Bo Nix. Under through him. I've been hearing that he's been underthrowing a lot. Day one, I don't know exactly how he was doing. Day two, shout out Tyler Fornes for first and school. He said Bo Nix absolutely did not look good again today for day two. So I don't know, man. Bo Nix, man, that's why I say, like, he's not him, bro. Like, Vikings need to keep him off the radar. Like, no, bro, nah, it don't need to happen. You feel me? Don't need to happen, man. We don't want him. You feel me? But, man, here's a one-on-one -on -one rep from Oregon Center, Jackson Powers Johnson on day one. Like, I like him. You know what I mean? I like him. I've seen a couple clips of him. Never can go wrong with the center. We already know our situation with Brad Berry. So shout out to him, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, he seemed like he got that dog in him. I'm going to keep it real. Brad, look at him. Putting him on his, put him on his face. He like he got that dog in him, man. He definitely got that dog in him, man. You know what I'm saying? 
All right. Hey, we got we got quarterback. We got quarterback. Hey, you know what I mean? Easy dump off. Easy dump off wheel route, man. Michael Penix Jr. You know what I'm saying? Michael Penix Jr. It seems like the quarterback's been quiet as far as I'm concerned. But, you know, they haven't been showing too many crazy highlights of the quarterbacks. But hey, it is what it is, man. Shout out to him. You know what I mean? Shout out to him. Then we got a wide receiver group. We got Ricky Parcell. Hey, listen, Ricky per- Parcell. Hey, bro, hey, bro going crazy. Like, I seen a couple plays from him. Look at that. Look at that. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, the, the adjustment to the rock. I love it, man. The adjustment to the rock. I'm telling you, this dude right here, man, it might be somebody that the Vikings can keep their eye on. I don't think wide receiver is a really need for the Minnesota Vikings, but you can never go wrong adding some dynamic to your offense, all right? Like, if you can get another guy, there's so many of them that are shifty and can move around really well, got good hands, can adjust to football, man. Like, listen, you can never go wrong adding a piece like that. You know what I'm saying? You can never go wrong. Um, here's one, man. Michael Hall Michael Hall Jr. with a nasty Euro spin win during one-on-ones. Hey, ugh, hit him with it. Ooh-wee. I don't like how he did that against my Michigan dude. You feel me? But that's neither here nor there, man. Shout out to him. You know what I mean? Shout out to him. Now we got day two, man. Let's get it popping. You heard me? Here we go, man. Listen, the rollout game is crazy, man. Here's the quarterbacks on day two. Just doing a quick little. We just warming up. We just warming up, man. Day two. Know what I'm saying day two. Then we got the D linemen. You know, they working right now. D linemen working on drills early today. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got, man. You know, let's see. Let's see. Come on. Show us something. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got a little, we got a little something. Ain't nothing too much, man. You know, I, I was clipping a bunch of highlights so we can react to these. All right. Then we got, then we, <laughs> we got Quentin Mitchell, man. Listen, I'm going to tell you, this dude right here is definitely the best DB in the goddamn game that's a fact like he's the best db hands down i've already seen so much about him where he's just locking shit down now he might have had a bad day today or might have had a couple bad plays today but i'm gonna tell you right now when it comes to when it as far as i'm concerned he's the mvp defense mvp already i mean already his name is buzzing you hear me like he moving up the draft boards what a route cooked here but unfortunately bo nix overthrew him again another bo nix look at that Burnt them, overthrown. He's him. That's him. That's who we want as our QB one. That guy right there that just overthrew that. Stop it, man. Shout out MG Hurley, man. Shout out MG Hurley for the content. You heard me. Um, then we got <laughs> potential day two target for the Panthers. Nice spin move by Oregon Five Tech Brandon Dorloose. Hey, I'm telling you, man. Hey, that move was nasty. I gotta watch that sh- one more time, man. Hold up, I gotta watch. Uh, oh my gosh. Put him on, put a slit him across the turf. You hear me? <laughs> Shout out to him, man. You know what I mean? That's looking good. I can see him in purple. Ricky Parcells again. You already know what time. Look at the adjustment to the ball. This dude is serious, bro. Was he doing this during the season and shit too? Like, bro, he looking like number one wide receiver. Although my boy Roman Wilson, man, you know what I mean? He out there. <laughs> He out there finna get himself drug tested, you know what I mean? But shout out to Ricky Parcells, man, balling like that. Then we got nice rep by wide receiver Tez Walker. Everybody was looking up for Tez Walker going up against Mitchell. You know, great catch, great catch on the out route. Can't go wrong with that, man. Shout out to him, man. You know what I mean? Shout out Joe Will for that video, for sure. Then we got wide receivers. We got, <laughs> hey, this was a play right here, man. This pick right here now. You could say that he was holding. Like, there was a little bit of holds right there. All right, there was a little bit of hand fighting. But I'm going to tell you, man, that's a good play by the DB. For real, that's a good play by the DB. To be able to turn your hips like that and still keep up and, and make the play on the ball to turn around and, and locate the rock and make that interception while keeping at least one foot in bounds like you need in college, got to give him some brownie points for that, man. You know what I'm saying? Tez Walker again with the stop. <laughs> Go. Oh, he burnt them. You know, hey, look, <laughs> couldn't stay in front of him. Hey, look at man, that's Tez Walker, man. That's what he do. I think that's what he would be more of as a deep threat type guy. Shout out my guy again for first and score saying more of a DK Metcalf type of guy. You know what I mean? I could see that. You know what I'm saying? But hey, it is what it is, man. Michigan wide receiver Roman Wilson right here. Oh, uh, get him. Uh, just cooking him, bro. Just cooking him. It doesn't make sense, man. He's cooking them boys out there, man. Again, Roman Wilson. We're going to watch it again. Let's see another one. Oh, my gosh. Did you see that? 
But that one-handed catch, that's the catch right there that's going to move him to wide receiver one in his draft class for one. And then that's the one right there that's going to be, hey, after this practice, hey, Roman Wilson, we need to see you in the office, man. We need to see you in the office. Hey, go ahead, pee in that cup for me. Hey, for real, man. He out there, <laughs> that boy putting in nasty work. You hear me? Like, he putting in nasty work, man. All right, here we go, man. New Hampshire running back Dylan Lob, Lou, whatever, with a nice catch, you know, nice little catch for A. Hey, it's a nice catch for a running back boy. Christian McCaffrey status out there, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to him, man. Then we got wide receiver Brendan Rice with another catch against Notre Dame's Cam Hart. Um, I like Cam Hart. I actually was watching some stuff on Cam Hart, watching some film on him. He's a very physical type guy, t- physical type DB. So I do like Cam Hart, man. I wouldn't mind Cam Hart, but hey, sometimes it's, it's hard to, DBs have the hard, one of the hardest jobs in football, all right, trying to stay in front of these damn wide receivers nowadays. You hear me? But um, wide receiver Javon Baker with a nice route. Uh, got him. Hey, something basic, man. But hey, we rock with it. We rock with it. Wide receiver Roman Wilson. I had, oh, this is the one handed catch again. So we're just going to look at that again. Uh, better, a better sight. I, seen, I must have seen it and said, man, I need to clip this thing twice. You hear me? Like, I need to clip it twice. You hear me? Um, here we go, man. We got two. We got uh, Mal- Malachi Corley, you know, showcases his impressive release. There we go. I mean, he coming off that line nice. Let's see. Uh, okay. He ain't do too much right there, but I don't know, man. I think it was a little sloppy. Good good control, though, to be able to still catch the ball. I think off the line it wasn't as impressive as he made it sound, but you know what I mean? Hey, still good control, man. Shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? Then we got Xavier Leggett, man. Let's go. He's going to be one of the top wide receivers coming into the draft. That's a fact. Nice little, nice little comeback catch right there. Then we got Trevondre Sweat. Let's go. Uh. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. This is a guy that's definitely on my radar for the Vikings to get. We need that. We need that, man. Put him on his back. Now, as far as that that center goes, I don't know how good he is and if it's even competition for sweat, but it is what it is, man. Hey, I love when you can put him on a back like that. You hear me? And then we're right here, man. We got red flag for scouts. We got a little scuffle. We're going to end it on this right here. But, you know, they were, hey, they were going at it. Oh, rip the helmet off. Throw it. Get out of here, man. Let's go, man. Them boy getting feisty. That's always good to see, though, man. It's always good to see when them players are out there and they're giving it their all, getting frustrated, taking it serious, man. You know, you want these guys to take it serious. You don't want them to be out there lollygagging and just kind of moseying around and just going through the motion. You want them to really, hey, like, bro, we playing for draft position, bro. Like, for real, bro. Like, hey, we going all in. Although, that might be a red flag for certain teams and they might actually say hey we can't have that temperament on our on our team but again man passion man it's hard not to be passionate when you're playing sports anybody that plays sports you should know man how it is man you know i mean you out there competing bro you will get passionate but hey y'all let me know how y'all feel about those clips man what players that you seen during the video that you would love to be a minnesota viking man who was doing what what did you notice man Appreciate everybody again that's out there at Senior Bowl, at the Senior Bowl, just getting all this content for us, man, for the ones who weren't able to make it down there. You know what I mean? We get to sit back and kind of see what you guys bring to the table and we can evaluate these players ourselves and just enjoy, enjoy the highlights and shit, man. Appreciate y'all. Holla at your boy. Yeah. Smooth summer. Who running? I hear them talking, but they ain't gon' do nothing. Celebration, I might have a toes with you. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great, I'm touring. We ain't taking no losses, we winning. Undefeated, check the percentage.